Shanti, um, well, here we are, um, still cloistered at home. Um, I'm now retreating even deeper into my little cabin as I have my two uh, young men home, um, self-confining with me and the dog. So my refuge is getting a little bit more um, personal <laughs> in my own space, thank goodness. But um, I just thought we'd just, uh, I just offer some gentle movements this, uh, this afternoon on a chair. And uh, not all chairs are the same, of course. This one here I'm going to be using today is just a little bistro chair. You can see it's got no sides. It's like a little stool, really. And we have some of those around the home um, very often. Um, so if you have something like this uh, or one of those um, blow up exercise balls, then you might want to sit on one of those rather than a standard dining chair or something like that. So let's begin. Oh, and you'll notice that I haven't got yoga clothes on. I love wearing dresses, <laughs> actually, <laughs> but I live uh, in yoga clothes most of the time. Uh, but not now, means I'm not going out teaching. So um, this is just what I had on this morning to take the dog out for his exercise and for me to get mine too. So I'm just going to keep this on because, you know, you've got to keep it real and um, Yoga can be for anywhere. You don't have to have special clothes either, do you? So that's kind of nice. I'm enjoying not having to wear yoga clothes. So I'm going to start just by sitting on your, your little stool, nice and tall. The good thing about these stools is that generally you have a much better posture. You kind of sit in full attention, but without tension in the body, which is kind of how we're supposed to sit anyway. So I've got a nice lumbar curve, chin's pulled back in towards the base of the skull just kind of make a little platform under the chin and draw the chin back in towards the base of the skull as though you were pushing your skull into a wall behind you. So you'll probably feel um, the lower tummy engaging a little bit here as well, maybe the shoulder blades moving down and in towards the spine and you're just going to work um, however you feel is appropriate for you obviously staying out of pain. So if what I suggest doesn't make any sense then use your self-awareness to override whatever else I might be saying and leading you into. So you're just going to turn the head side to side gently, trying to keep the chin pulled back in towards the base of the skull. Good. Let's do goal posts with the arms now. Yeah, you can probably feel the shoulder blades hugging in towards the spine here. Stretch the palms of the hands and the fingers to narrow the wrists. And take a few deep breaths. So again, you're probably still going to feel that front line around the tummy muscles hugging in towards the spine. Let's bring the fingertips together now. We're going to extend the right arm out to the side and then turn the head to the left. Nice steady breaths. Depressing the belly button back towards the spine. Let's come back to center. And extend the left arm out to the side. Turn your head to the right. And then let's come back to center. Okay, so goal pose, palms face each other this time, elbows in front of the shoulders, retract the shoulders back. Let's see if we can bring the hands together, maybe the arms as close as you can get them, and then separate them again. Let's extend the right arm up and get heavy on your right hip. So staying heavy on your right hip, we're going to bow to your left side. If you want to look under the armpit, up towards the fingers, that would be fine too. Couple more breaths. Exhale will probably be a little bit more prolific here. So you've got to kind of add a little bit more effort to work on those outer intercostal muscles on the inhalation. And let's come back to center. Okay, we're gonna push diagonally, pull back, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Last time, push and pull. Up we go again. Maybe the left arm sweeps under this time. Stay heavy on your right hip and bow to the side. Deep breaths. And then back to center. And just take a couple of breaths. 
and maybe the right shoulder feels like it's a little bit higher than the left. So try and get it nice and heavy. Let's go up with the left arm now. Heavy on the left hip. And over you go into a side bend. If you want to look under the armpit, do that. Otherwise, wherever you're comfortable, of course. Nice, steady breaths. And we come back. Okay, we're going to push diagonally. Pull, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Two more. Arm goes straight up, heavy on the left hip, and over. This time, right arm can come under if you like. Deep breaths. And let's come back to center and just roll the shoulders back. Okay, let's get a little bit of a march going. Good. Now we're gonna extend the right leg forwards, both arms, and then the foot down, forwards, down, forwards. Extend the right leg and both arms. Both arms extend up. A few deep breaths. And the hands come down. So left leg this time. Left leg, both arms. Left leg, both arms. Extend. 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 Two more. Extend. Extend. Good, sweep the arms up, take a few breaths. Let's go a little bit wider with the arms and draw the shoulders down, draw the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Little turn to your right, pull the belly button in. Back to center and then over to your left. And back to center. Release the hands down again. Roll the shoulders back. Okay, your right foot. Well, you can cross the ankles if you want to, or you're going to kind of put the uh, the outer right foot onto your left thigh. So cross the ankles. That's where you need to be, or up onto the thigh. Let's extend the arms up. Go for that wide V shape. A few deep breaths. Feels really nice on that outer right hip, thigh and buttock area. And release, other side. So it could just be your left ankle crossing over your right, or you can get the left foot on top of the right thigh. Dog flap. Inverted V with the arms. Draw the shoulder blades in. A few more deep breaths. And step down, good. Okay, let's just kind of open up the front of the right thigh here. You can move the left leg however you want to. So you don't want to jam the hip, so you might just kind of want to bend the knee down towards the floor a little bit. So you're kind of perching on the front of the stool if you're on a stool. Um, so that kind of engages the glutes a little bit more. So let's uh, extend the right arm up, left arm down. Maybe look up towards the right hand. So notice the demands of the different shape changes that we bring the body into and how it kind of really uh, emphasizes the inhale or the exhale. And then come back to center and take a few breaths. 
Now we'll take it to the other side. So we're just opening up the front of the left hip a little bit. Again, you could just kind of drop the right leg back a little bit so you're not jamming the hip. There shouldn't be any pain in your right hip here. Right arm can slide down the leg, left arm extends up, maybe the gaze turns up and just notice the demands of the breath. We just have to kind of follow the demands of the breath and keep it nice and deep. And then back to centre. So I'm going to swim the arms around this time. Now you may have a little back to the chair that you can grab hold of, or you just interlace the fingers if you're on one of those exercise balls, um, or a, a little stool that doesn't have a back, and just kind of really broaden the pectoral muscles. Now we're going to try to get a little bit lighter on the right heel push down through the left foot and then switch, push down through the right heel, get a little bit light on the right foot and just switch over side to side. That's it, we're pushing one foot into the floor, getting the other one nice and light. And release, well done. Both arms extend up again. Send them out and give yourself a big hug. Right arm over left. Now we're gonna fold. I'm just finding a station point for you. Allowing the tailbone to become nice and light. And then let's come all the way back. Arms extend out. Left arm over the right. And we're folding from the groins, hinging, squashing the tummy. A little bit more exhale. Compliant here, but we focus on inhaling in a pose like this. And we'll pull it back. And release the hands onto the thighs. Draw the chin down to the chest. And then up towards the ceiling, down to the chest, and then up towards the ceiling, and then back to center again. So that was just a tiny little taster. If you've got a few minutes um, during the day when you want to kind of do some stuff, um, just keep moving. Um, don't necessarily have to think about oh, what pose am I going to do. Just move the body um, however feels good for you. And moving it is definitely a better option than not doing anything. So um, check in, hopefully in the non too distant future. And uh, have a blessed day, Shanti.